Guys, you've been waiting for this video for a long time. You've been asking for it. And today, guess what? Your wishes have been answered. We're gonna be comparing the Pelican Catch Power 100 versus the Johnny Bats, Johnny Boats Bass 100. We're gonna go over what they have to offer and which one is better at what over the other. Let's go. All right, look, look at this, look at this. These two boats, they look amazing, don't they? My gosh, it's just fun. Like when I see these boats, I just see one thing, fun. People always passing by, destroying my videos. Anyways, let's get to it. Fun fact, the Johnny Bass 100, Johnny Boats Bass 100, is 10 feet long, just 10 feet, right? While the Pelican Cash Power 100 is 9.9, .9, not quite 10. So the Pelican Catch is a little smaller boat, right? But let's talk about some of the stuff that they have to offer before we get into all the fishers. For example, the Johnny Bass 100 holds 400 pounds and the Pelican Catch Power 450. This seat is rated for 300 pounds. Not sure how much that one is rated, but judging by the frame, it's probably good for another 300 pounds. You gotta check that out. Catch is 75 pounds without the seat. Johnny Bass 100, 77 pounds without a seat. Johnny Bass 100 is $900. I seen it on sale for 10% off and the Pelican Catch Power 100 is $999, $999. It used to be that the Pelican Catch was more money because it had wheels, but those wheels are gone. Now they're gonna retail for $999. And judging by the sales that we see all the times, you may get it cheaper. Now that we got all that out of the way, Let's get something else in here. These two boats, each of them, were given to me for reviews by the companies. Johnny Bass and the Cash. I did not pay for this boat. Even if I pay for it, actually, if I pay for it, that would be even worse because that means I will be like ultra biased because I put in my own money. Not having to pay for this stuff made me have a different point of view where I'm not too hard on things. That's something you guys forget to see. All of you people that claim that oh because you got because you pay for something with your own money, you're better, a better reviewer than other. Stop lying. Because you pay with your own money makes you probably the worst reviewer out there because your opinion is already biased. If it's the greatest thing ever and you pay for it, you're gonna say it is oh my god. But if it has like one little problem, just because you pay with your own money, you're gonna be so harsh on that product. So with that out of the way, let's talk about these two boats. Look at that. Look how different the Johnny Bass 100 is. It has kind of like that tri-hole type of design in the front and the Pelican Catch is more like a boat design. But we start seeing difference right away right here. The Pelican Catch power has a little cover right here where it's gonna house the battery. And you can see there that it has a hatch that you can get access to the inside with a it has a pouch here which is kind of like waterproof like not waterproof but it kept it kept water out for sure and then it's already pre-wired so you could plug in your trolling motor if you want right here in the rear and it has a transom but we're going to talk more about that now look at the johnny bass 100 here see what you get you get protection for your rods right here in the front you got a space that you could put um I used to put a battery here if you want. You have a center console that you can use for storage or you can put in their own motor pod. And we're seeing some difference right here. There's not a console here. There's no way on the cash power to put a motor in the front unless you rig it up and you start drilling holes and you make it your own. But here it is designed that you could remove this and plug in one with a motor or you could even DIY this one to have a motor if you want. You take that risk if you want to do that. Also, it's already with inserts, so you could put a stand-up bar. That's a separate accessory, but you could do that. Here, we have another thing. Gear tracks. Pretty much, it's got a gear tracks, a standard gear tracks, plug and play. Like, if you have one of these accessories, it just works. But now, the, the Johnny Bass 100, it doesn't quite work. You see? You have to use an adapter or use their own proprietary accessory mount. It has tracks, but the tracks are only useful if you use the adapter. And here, 
it, you just put it in and you can use Scotty's, you can use whatever you want, put it in and go. Now, let's look at another difference, foot rest, adjustable foot rest on the Johnny Bass 100. That's a win. They're not the best ones, but at least it comes with that. Over here, you just have this session here and you have to move the seat from and back to get the position where you want to be. Right, so let's keep going right here. Let me remove this Pelican paddle, which is really good paddle, by the way. We can see that you have some padding right here, a standard feel free type of padding, which is really good. Oh, and let me show you all the storage that you have inside. You have a lot of room here to store things. Really good stuff. The Pelican Catch Power has a nice, I happen to like the color a lot, that, that uh, orange with the black makes it look really good. I know mine's dirty, but you know that. Here in the middle, we see the catch has some humongous handles with built-in tracks. These are really good. They work amazing stuff, really like that. And the Johnny Pass 100 has really two really good handles and you could definitely park your paddle here if you want. In terms of seating, this is where you're gonna see major differences. The Pelican Catch Power 100 has a 360 seat that is a dream for real this thing works like magic that uh, you could turn like this and go all the way back and work on the motor if you have to like if something happens something breaks you could just turn the 360 seat and work on it if you have an outboard you want to turn it on you just turn 360 go all the way back that's pretty good this is like this is a winner right here the 360 seat is a it's a game changer for real and this one here doesn't have it, but what it does have is that allows you to go lower. If you feel a little uncomfortable, if the bad weather out there, you could bring the seat all the way down. And that's a plus in my book. In here, you have to like completely change it or get rid of the seat, like put the seat all the way back and sit on the floor. If you want to do that, if it gets really nasty out there. I think there's a way to rig up a 360 seat on this boat if you want to. But that's something extra, something you have to do, but you could definitely do it. That's how it looks with a lower seat and let me tell you, it is super stable. Now the Johnny Bass 100 for sure is more stable than the Pelican Catch and it's because of the seating position that I just mentioned. You have a higher center of gravity right here, therefore <laughs> you may flip. Also even on the higher center position I felt like the Johnny Bass 100 was a little more stable. The Johnny Bass got two rod holders right here, the Pelican Catch has four and it also has the plugins right here for the trolling motor. The Johnny Bass 100 doesn't have that, but Johnny thought of everything. You have kits that you could buy, separate accessories that you could set up your outboard right there and control it with a controller that will go right here, which is pretty good. You have an access point right here in the back. Well, you don't have that in the Pelican, and I really miss that. I really wish, I wonder if Mm, there's not enough space but if Pelican maybe had this wall maybe a little taller or have a built-in hatch around here somewhere where I could get access to this two places right here because I could put a, uh, a power pole that would be huge but they don't have that uh, in terms of tank well the Johnny Bass 100 does have a tank well it's a tiny one but it's useful and you have gear tracks right here on the in the rear as well but the, the Pelican catch is more like a open deck design. It's, you don't have the divisions at all. Now let's talk about this transom mount. This is a winner. This thing is huge. This is so good. It has those slips. It prevents the motor from slipping out. It has those tiny cutouts right there. So if you put in uh, an outboard or whatever you put in, it's gonna be really tied down. It's not gonna move, it's not gonna slip out. That's that's huge. The Johnny Bass 100 doesn't come like this. This is a separate accessory that you have to buy to be able to put that outboard in here. So that's something that maybe Johnny has to work on. In terms of scoper holes, the Johnny Bass 100 has one right here and then it drains everything out through that giant scoper holes. And also, in the back here, it has an access point for water to come out because when you have the outboard and this boat is planing, a lot of water is going to get in. You have a different design right here on the Pelican Catch Power. I didn't have a problem with water at all. You see that you have dual handles here, and then Johnny has a bunch of accessories that you could put in. You could put a rotor system right here, 
you could put tabs to make it paddle better. The Johnny has a lot of stuff, a lot of accessories that you could add. That's the beauty of this boat that you have so many things that you could add later that you, you could truly, truly make it your own if you want to. The catch power doesn't offer all those things, but I do like this, the transom mount setup a lot better on the catch power and the 360C is it's really awesome. I seriously don't want to play favorite here because <laughs> I'm happy with either of these boats. Uh, I think that having the Johnny Bass 100 with a motor pod and the outboard on the back is gonna be really really hard to beat. I don't see how Cash could get to that point of that dual motor setup of using a outboard to get you to where you want to be and using the motor pod to fish. You pretty much have to say, you know, I'm gonna take an outboard and I'll paddle when I get there, right? Or I'm gonna take a throwing motor, it's gonna take me forever to get there and then I'll deal with it, right? So you only have one option right here. Over there you have two options and that's huge. Now let me tell you something, I felt like the Pelican Catch Power is a more fun boat. Like family fun, like if you wanna have your kids with you, it's, it's more fun. The Johnny Bass 100 is more like a fishing boat, like you, you're, you mean business, you're going fishing. That's what you're doing. Here you're having more fun. The Johnny Bass 100 is a faster haul. This boat is faster with a motor than the Pelican Catch Power 100. But in terms of paddling, let's say you run out of gas or you simply cannot use a motor because there's a no motor lake, the Catch is a better option because it paddles better. It moves faster. For real, like I have 4.1 miles an hour. Quick, over there, couldn't get past 3.3 because it's not designed to be a paddle boat, it's designed to be used with a motor. Another thing that the Johnny Bass 100 has going for it, like which is huge, is that you could buy it right now. I'm actually gonna link one below. It's an affiliate link, it's gonna take you to ack.com or other stores. When you buy through them, this channel gets a commission. For the cash, you have to wait. Probably March. I forgot the time frame already, but you have to wait. Johnny Bass 100 is a planing hole. It's not a kind of hole, that's why it makes it harder to paddle. You can see here that you have options to replace this and put extra accessories that Johnny sells. And look at that. The cash power is a completely different setup. You could also replace the transom mount if it breaks. You have scoper holes. And you got two right here on the back. Cash. And for Johnny you have one. And two, you can take a look here at the the pot, how it looks. And now if you had the motor, then it will be coming out. Over here, you don't have that, but you do get like a little, this is very useful by the way, to tie the boat to something, to transport it. I really like to have that for sure. The Johnny Bass 100 has a built-in handle in the front and the catch has a riveted one. So it's impossible to answer all the questions that you may have on a video. So if you do have a question that I haven't answered, ask in the comments below or tell me your opinion. Which one will you buy and why? Cash or Johnny? Johnny Cash.